Welcome back. I'm Dr. Ryan Heron with Med Applications. If you've seen my other videos on QUARMS, the Queen's University Accelerated Route to Medical School, you already know you must be selected as a Chancellor's Scholarship nominee in order to be considered for this program. You don't actually have to be awarded the scholarship, you just have to be nominated for it. Let's see what this is all about. There are 50 Chancellor's Scholarships to be awarded. To be considered, you must be a Canadian citizen or permanent resident, have a cumulative high school grade average of 90% or higher, have demonstrated leadership skills and creative ability, and have been nominated by your high school. The number of nominees allowed per school depends on the number of students in your graduating class as follows. This is a renewable scholarship awarding $9,000 per year for up to four years. That's $36,000 total or enough for a new entry-level Mercedes. In order to renew it, you have to take a full course load and achieve a minimum GPA of 3.5 each year. If you get into QUARMS and enter medical school after two years, you can still renew the scholarship and use it towards your medical school tuition. To apply for this scholarship, you will be submitting a Queen's Major Admissions Awards application. This application is not just for the Chancellor's Scholarship, but other admissions awards as well. Let's look at what's involved in this application. First, you'll submit your high school grades in the form of a credit counseling summary or official transcript, depending on which province you live in. You are asked to list any awards you have received, competitions you have participated in, and or conferences you have attended. You will very briefly describe five work or extracurricular activities you are most proud of that demonstrate your leadership skills and community service ethic. Next, you will have to write a few paragraphs on challenges faced and lessons learned from a leadership experience, and another few paragraphs explaining the impact of a volunteer activity and how it will lead to future service involvement at Queen's. Part of your submission will be a one-page document demonstrating original and creative thinking. And finally, your application requires one letter of reference to be complete. Are you up for it? Be sure to check out my other video explaining the application timeline for this scholarship and for QUARMS. And remember, Med Applications is always here to help. Thanks for watching.